Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. All right, back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Rad Shiva bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they see... <coughs> DOG! Sup, little girl. What are you doing in a bar? <laughs> Honey, some help here. Hey, dog. I heard cats in the alley. Really? Oh, check them out. <sighs> wow, you really are bad with dogs, huh? Did I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. I think it's because I just got that trait at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or tastes completely at random. I just happen to get stuck with the fear dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct, though. Thank gods. What will you have? Well, it's that time of the month, so I'll have a bleeding Jane. Coming right... Um, up. A bleeding Jane for Dorothy in honor of her time of the month? Here. That time of the month. Do Lilla menstruate? Yes. Oil. No, silly, we don't. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Then what time of the month is it? The time where I feel like drinking a Bleeding Jane. Uh, so how's business? You'd be surprised by how many people get struck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Although it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do. Both humans and the loom. Half of them got a sexy Santa dress and that's not fair! They were sold out! I wanted one too! But maybe it's better that way. How so? The other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off a lot of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Hell, some even invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Although I must say it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what to do at a glance. And the first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Huh. I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lilum too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. 40%? Human from the neck up. Dick's preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. For females, I'm not so strict though. Huh. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Get me a blue fairy. A big one, would ya? Alright. A big blue fairy for the small pink-haired pixie. Here you go. I wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. Some guy tested that by drinking as many as he could. He thought he saw one, but he was dizzy, and what he'd seen was his puke. Oh. You know, earlier today there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. 
It's the Mega Santa prank. Ah, uh, the what? <laughs> it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick a mall, wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap, and when he asks what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman. Sometimes they try to cover it up, but Lillian wants to be human. It's then when I say, no, I want you. Uh. After that I say, well, at the very least I want a dildo, a big pink one, or a very bumpy cucumber. Sometimes I spice it up, instead of cucumbers I ask for a pony and a crane to lift him. I once thought about screaming, help, I'm being molested, but I remembered it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. How considerate. Although I did get a client that way. He became a regular soon after. Huh. But yeah, they're yours and they still don't get that it's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Numbers, I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay then, tell me your age first. 27. No fair, you didn't get fidgety or anything like that. Fine, I'll tell you. My mom was assigned to look between 10 to 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? With how dangerous everything's been lately, every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see. Oh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I've tried one of those. Alright. She asked for a cobalt velvet. Weird. Cobalt Velvet. Yep, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey, honey, what day's today? Wednesday. No, the number. The number. Number? Uh, 21. Shouldn't you know that? I'm a little, I'm not a calendar. I thought you would know that much. Next, you're gonna tell me to make some convoluted calculation. Y you can't? I could if I put my mind to it, but it's not something I have quick access to. Yes, I have an inner calendar and calculator, but those are used in lots of other operations every second. I could do all that, but it's a lot quicker to just ask you. I see. Why do you need the date, though? I have something to do on the 26th. I've been avoiding it for a while now. Oh, but don't worry, it's nothing dangerous or anything like that, just heavy. Would you like some help? Would you help me? If you tell me what it is you need help with. Maybe later. I have to go now. <laughs> See you later. Do you think she really can access calendars and calculators that easily? I guess it's kind of like how even if a text processor can access the computer's calendar, you don't use it for that. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea! Huh? Another kid? Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school. That would be a hassle. Oh gods, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing, before the whole massive transmission hack thing, and at some point she talked about hacking becoming a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today, there have been two kids already. Uh... How would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. True. Um, 
Excuse me, miss. This is no place for kids, so you should... Um... Gil, she's staring too much, and she's saying nothing. She's not ordering anything, she's not causing trouble, and there's nothing inappropriate here. I mean, nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol, but alcohol's everywhere anyways. So what do you suggest? Eh, let her be. Maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah... Jill. Ah! How the hell did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out here with a beer? Uh, right. A beer for Gil. Haven't I seen that girl before? Here. Thanks. Lower your guard a bit, please. Oh, yeah, before I forget. The disposal unit comes on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients on your side? Oh, right. Uh, yeah. There's a bottle of Karmatrine that's like a month past expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss. Uh, y yes? Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... No, I mean, are you happy with your life? With your choices? Deep question. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um... Hey, Jill. Ah! Again? Aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe. What did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did. Why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last week. So I needed to take them out. Oh, uh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days anyways. Chump change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. What? Did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? That only happened once, and the old lady started it. Right. Why doesn't arcade still use coins nowadays? Or physical money, when you get down to it? For the reason arcades still exist. Nostalgia. Maybe. Hey, miss. Huh? Yeah? Do you recognize me? Recognize you? I want to say I do, but... Um... Sorry. Really? You can't remember your own sister's face? Sister? Sorry, but I don't have any sis- Sister? Not even a sister-in-law? Uh, no way. Gabby? Is that really you? God, I'm so sorry, but you've just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Three years. R right. So, you know her? Yeah, she's actually my girl, uh, my ex's sister. Um, so how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools, and I managed to skip a grade thanks to the admission tests. I'll be out of middle school next year. You've always been a smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I guess I still have a couple of years to think about that. Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe you'll need a sabbatical year. So, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister. She's, um, she was my girlfriend. So, how's Lenore doing? She's dead. Uh, sorry, I don't think I heard right. My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gabby, stop fooling around. No, you stop fooling around. I mean, wow. My sister was left to suffer her disease alone while you were all merry here mixing drinks and chatting. Wait, Lenore was sick? Of what? Since when? 
localized nanomachine rejection. It gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. Was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was your right to be Mary worth the life of my sister? Why are you lashing out at me like that? D did I infect her with the disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after your fight. It'd be no surprise if that fight played a key role in killing her. But that's just speculation. You can't expect- And all of that because you wanted freedom? What kind of freedom is so enticing that it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my- SHUT UP! I didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake! It's not like I infected her with that nanomachine rejection! Hell, this is the first time I've ever heard she was sick! And do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your goose slip through your fingers? Do you think it was all easy for me? I was scared! I'm still scared! But I needed to grab a hold of my life! But it has nothing to do with your sister! I, I loved her! Do you think that fight didn't hurt me too? I- Idiot. I... I... I'll make sure that girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief... I know. Come on, Jill, let's take you home. Home sweet home. Hey, Jill, you wanna grab something to eat? <sighs> I'm not hungry. Want me to come in? Keep you company? I'm fine. I just... I just need to be alone for a bit. Jill. You can tell me what you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay! It's... It's not. Come here, Jill. Come here. <laughs> it's just... I feel like part of me is crumbling right now. My old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she held nothing but animosity for me. Not only that, but I lashed out at her too. History fucking repeats itself. Maybe if I hadn't cowered back then and apologized. Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe... Maybe... Thanks, boss. I really needed this. Do you want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. But don't do anything funny, you hear me? If any weird thoughts come to you, or if you feel too anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, Four! She's in your care, you hear? Mm -hmm. Remember to call me. I'll call you later to check on you nonetheless. <laughs>